Hello, welcome to a new series I'm calling Master Riffs. Basically it goes a little something like this. I'm going to show you how to play a riff on the guitar and then later in the video I'm going to play that riff to a metronome at different speeds, speeding up each time and you can play along with it and gather up the speed as well. If you can't do it at the speed I do it in the video, let's say I start at 100 BPM and you could do 100 BPM, cool, and then the next step is 120 BPM. If you can't do 120, get yourself a metronome, you can get them online, get an app on your phone, they're free, you don't have to pay any money for it and maybe try to work up to 110 from 100 and then make your way to 120. Come back to the video, do it at 120 and then you can move on after that and keep going up that way. So that's the basic idea of the video. This is the first riff. So first off, let me show you how to play that riff and then we can move up into the metronome phases. Right, first off, I'm in standard tuning and uh, this riff is in F sharp harmonic minor. And I'm going to use alternate picking, starting with the downstroke. Pretty much stays alternate all the way through. So we're going to start on the 14 of the high E, pull off to the 9 of the high E. Okay, nice simple start. Then on the B string, 10, 9, 10. 10, 9, 10. And then back to the 9 on the high E. All together. And that's the main riff, you do that three times, one after the other. Okay, and then the last bit is 10 on the high E, pull off to 9, B string, 12, 10, 9, G string, 11, 10. So all together it's even slower. So to master a riff you need a lot of patience, discipline and perseverance. Of course different people of different abilities are going to start in different places, some may start on phase 2, some may start on phase 4, some may be not able to do phase 1 in which case you can just get your metronome out and work your way up to phase 1. Once you can do phase 5 you know you've mastered the riff, when you can play it cleanly a bunch of times without messing up that's when you've conquered the riff. And I think it's really valuable to just be learning random riffs because every riff you learn as a guitar player, it's going to teach you something. It's going to give you something that's going to be with you to the day you die. There's going to be some ability gained just from learning tiny random riffs. So have a go at this. Let me know how you like it. Let's get into it. Phase one. <laughs> 